This is a quick video to show how to import records into Odoo. So for this example, we're going to import, uh, firstly, our products. Uh, and when I say products, I mean everything associated with our product view in Odoo. So by that, when we go to products and say we click on this one here, I'm talking about all the records associated with this um, all the fields associated with this record. So for example, on our sheet, we have here our uh, template. We have all our products. We have the product type, internal reference, uh, sale price, cost, weight, sale description. So those are the ones we're going to uh, handle today. And that notice that there's no uh, quantity associated in this record, that's going to be on an inventory movement. So uh, we're going to handle the pro product quantity in inventory. So we got our sheet here. We're going to go to our products overview and see the import record. So when I hit load file, I can load my product Excel file. And then we see here we have uh, the name, the type, internal reference. Uh, we don't have barcode, so we're going to uh, not import. We got our sale price, cost, weight, sales description. So what I recommend is, say you're getting an error up here and you can't figure out what that error is. The best way to do it is to start in this left-hand column and import one by one. So what I mean by that is when you go through this column, for example, we have product type, hit the don't import button and make sure and test it to make sure name imports. Then you go along the list here and do product type and so on and so forth. And you just go along down the line and keep testing to make sure these fields are the ones that are correct and that they're not the ones causing issues. So that's how I would handle importing your products there. And then we're going to import. And we see up here we get the error, uh, the notification that we have five records successfully imported. So if I search product for my product names, we see we have our products imported here. And the reason why I have them in twice is because I tested it and uh, have different fields in there just from testing. But if you don't want to have your records imported when you're testing, just click the test button and not import. So then you're not having uh, other data entered that you don't want in. So now to move on to the next step, we're going to go to our inventory module. In our inventory module, we have our inventory adjustments operation. And what we do is click Create. From here, we're going to click Start Inventory. And now we have this view pop up. We're going to go under Favorites and Import Records. And this is where we're going to import our inventory quantities. So for importing inventory quantities, uh, there's not a sheet uh, specified with it, but the three fields you will need Oops. The three fields you will need is your product name, the quantity on hand, and the location. Uh, if you don't have the location, you can create the location when you uh, have it uh, imported. If you don't want to use, if you're not using locations, then uh, you won't have to worry about this field, and all you need to know is your quantity on hand and product. So we're going to load our file. We're going to go to, this is my inventory file. We see we have our three products and we have the 100 units. What I will do real quickly is update these to 200. Load my file again. So now all I have to do is hit test and then import. And it shows